Hello, my name is Krishna from Best Engineering Project and today in this video I will show you how to get a stable temperature reading out of LM35. So before proceeding please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon in order to get notification of every new update that we will post in near future. One of the most common analog temperature sensor used for temperature monitoring and controlling is LM35. According to manufacturer, LM35 is precise centigrade temperature sensor but reality is a bit different when we directly wire the sensor with Arduino. There are various reasons of fluctuation output. Here in this video, we will address almost all reasons and solve one by one. So before proceeding, let's see how the sensor works. According to the data sheet of LM35D, as for this video, I am using LM35D, it can measure temperature from 0 degrees Celsius to 100 degrees Celsius with 10 millivolt per degree change in temperature. This sensor basically sends the temperature and produces corresponding voltage from its output pin, that is 10 millivolt per degree Celsius change in temperature. At 0 degree Celsius, it produced 0 millivolt, and at most 100 degree Celsius, it produced 1000 millivolt, that is 1 volt output. See the reason now, of let's see the reason of deviation in temperature output. temperature output. They are one noise in power supply, two self heating and electromagnetic interference, three taking single reading at a time, and four reference voltage. Now let's see the solution of every issue. At first, let's see how to get a stable reading temperature reading. One adding filter capacitor at power rail of LM35. The fluctuation of temperature output might be the noise available in power supply. So it's better to use an electrolytic capacitor at a power supply that is connecting to BCC and ground of LM35. Now let's say adding 10 microfarad at power supply will stable output to some extent. Here for demo purpose I am using 1000 microfarad. 2. Adding resistance between output pin that is pin 2 of LM35 and ground. According to the data sheet of LM35D, it has low sinking capability. As a result, its output becomes more sensitive to electromagnetic interference. A resistance of value 1K or 2K between its output pin that is pin 2 and ground can solve this issue to some extent and also solve self-heating error. 3. Taking average reading rather than single reading. Fluctuation or drift are one of the major issues of Arduino sensor. One way to make fluctuation less is trying to calculate average reading instead of single reading. Here in software code as you can see I am taking 100 sample and take the average and after that I am displaying it over LCD. Above 3 point is to get a stable temperature reading. Now let's see how to minimize the error. When we use default reference that is 5 volt reference at analog input of this Arduino, it is less sensitive due to voltage difference. At this reference Arduino can map 5 volt input into 1024 step. As we all know that 8 mega 328 have inbuilt 10 built 10 bit ADC and 2 to the power 10 is equal to 1024 steps. That is, it divides 5 volt into 0 to 1023. This means resolution at 5 volt is equal to 5 divided by 1024 is equal to 4.88 into 10 to the power minus 3 volt, which is equivalent to 5 millivolt. So, if we use default 5 volt analog reference. Minimum temperature deviation that Arduino can detect is 0 0.5 degrees Celsius. And if we use default Arduino difference voltage, we will end up with adding 0 0.5 degrees Celsius extra error. This, this error of 0 0.5 degrees Celsius can be minimized by selecting proper reference value of Arduino. Let's say if we use 1.1 volt internal difference for Arduino, the minimum temperature deviation that Arduino can measure is drastically improved. Now let's, let's see, see the mathematical, the mathematical behind calculation behind error minimization. Internal reference voltage is equal to 1.1 volt. As you already know, ADC of Arduino 3, Arduino Uno or Nano is 10 bit. 
because these two board share same microcontroller that is 8 mega 3 to 8 therefore it divide the entire voltage into 1024 steps thus we can calculate resolution resolution is equal to 1.1 volt divided by 1024 is equal to 0.00107 volt that is equal to 1.07 millivolt if we use 1.1 internal reference voltage then resolution become equivalent to 1 millivolt that is it can measure temperature to 0.1 degree celsius temperature deviation now let's see the circuit connection as you can see in circuit diagram it is simple and straightforward this entire circuit is designed around one arduino nano or cduino one lm35 ic one itc lcd one 1k or 2k resistance and one 10 microfarad electrolytic capacitor lcd and arduino share i2c pin where lm35 is connected to a0 pin of arduino that is output of lm35 is connected to a0 pin of arduino one 1k resistor is connected between output pin that is pin 2 of lm35 and ground as you can see here a capacitor of few microfarad is connected to VCC and ground pin. Here for demo purpose I am using 1000 microfarad but 10 microfarad is more than enough. Now let's see the software code of this project. The third line is for event time interval that is at what interval of time LCD so change in temperature. This 2000 represent 2000 millisecond that is 2 second so this LCD display temperature value in every 2 second all other that is unsigned log previous time temp int x unsigned log temp total is declaration if we see the setup function all the line are familiar except analog reference internal this analog reference internal line activate 1.1 volt reference voltage. In this code, we are using mails function rather than delay. For that, as you can see here, on signed long current time is equal to mills. Every time when loop run, the value of mills, that is the value of time, will saved in current time. After that, you can see a for loop for 100 cycle is executed. This for loop do nothing but take the reading of 100 cycle of LM35. And after that, calculate its average value. Now, that average value of sensor converted to voltage. By using formula, voltage is equal to sensor value into 1100 by 1023. Here 1100 is nothing but the reference voltage that is 1.1 voltage that is 1100 millivolts. The value of voltage is in millivolt. Now it's time to convert that voltage into temperature. According to the data sheet of LM35, every 10 millivolt is equal to 1 degree Celsius. So we divide that voltage by 10 or we multiply that voltage that millivolts that we obtain from above calculation into 0.1. In this way, we can calculate temperature in degree Celsius. For converting that temperature in Fahrenheit, we use the formula temp F is equal to 1.8 into temp plus 32, as you can see in code. As I had clearly specified, we are using Mills function rather than delay. This if statement check the delay for 2 second and run its birdie. Now let's see the output when we connect LM35 directly to Arduino Nano. As you can see temperature deviate and reading is also not stable. Now let's see the output of LM35 with calibrated circuit. That is connecting electrolytic capacitor to its BCC and ground pin and connecting this 1K resistor to its output to ground pin and uploading the calibrated software. As you can see, 
the output is quite stable. In this way, you can get a stable temperature reading from LM35. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel.